LGBT well-being here in Hatfield, Victoria. Um, the, we had a match of our own this morning. Uh, I mean, a protest of our own outside our offices. We had a demonstration. Um, the turnout was quite okay. We, we had uh, about 60 plus people. And uh, the aim of this marches and this protest is to just show the police and everyone in the country that LGBTI people are people. Um, women's rights, LGBTI people's rights, they're very important and they need to be prioritized. And by doing this demonstration here again, we just want to show the police and uh, just ask them to hear us because a lot of people are being killed. A lot of women are being killed in the country. A lot of women who are lesbian, a lot of women who are heterosexual are being killed. So this is a vulnerable group that needs to be um, given more attention, that needs to be protected. And with this protest, we're saying that enough is enough. We need the police to give our cases more attention. We need the police to stop ridiculing us when we report this case to the police station. We're tired of secondary victimization. Yeah, yeah. We are tired of not being taken as important people. Because we're tired, we're not secondary citizens. We are important like every other South African in this country, like every other person who's living in this country. We need the same protection and rights uh, to be given to us as LGBTI people, as women, as uh, vulnerable groups, as disabled people. Because the other thing that I see today here is that not only LGBTI people are here, we've got people who are allies as well, we've got women here. And these are groups that come together to fight for the same thing, which is justice. Because we're all looking for justice as different groups in South Africa. So I think that it is great for us to come together as LGBTI people, as women, as disabled people, as all these other vulnerable groups, to come together and make sure that we, we push the police to hear us, we push the lawmakers, we push the whole criminal justice system to be more proactive and to give us the justice that we all deserve. So I won't go on for long because I know I was very late. Um, so just to cut it short, thank you so much guys for waiting um, for us to come and join you from the other protest. Thank you for those who came to the protest and thanks um, to the DA for showing us that there's political parties who are behind LGBTI people, political parties that are behind women, uh, political parties that are behind all the other vulnerable groups that need to be given attention immediately because if we don't do something about it now, this will never stop. So there's a lot of things that need to be fixed in our country, but we really need to stand up again. Um, I hope that this is not the end of it. I hope that we will do more. I hope that we will bring other people and be in bigger numbers next time so that we can make sure that we push for this and make it something that will be very big, uh, a big movement in the country where maybe we'll have something in all nine provinces where we can just push and make sure that we get the justice that we deserve for people who are vulnerable, for people who have been neglected for so long in this beautiful democracy of ours. Thank you everyone. Thank you.